Here's another question. Why is it that in higher altitude areas, the octane is always lower than in sea level areas? At lower altitudes, there is going to be more density of the air. The more density of the air, the more compression you will get, and you will require a higher compression gasoline, a higher octane gasoline. And in a higher altitude where the air is thinner, if there's less air, there is less compression taking place, so the octane does not need to be as high. So you really are not losing anything by being in a high altitude area. Um, if you are a performance car driver, you're, you're better off in a lower sea level than, than in higher altitudes because there's more oxygen and that is actually what really makes your car faster. Right, here's one that you can certainly answer now. Just want to be safe, so I just use the mid grade uh, because I know I probably don't need the high octane, but I, you know, want to do something better than the lower octane. So if I just use the mid grade, um, even every other fill up, is that okay? And you probably are thinking. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. It, it, it's just a waste of money. That is absolutely correct. It, it makes absolutely no difference. You are not doing your engine any favor, any benefits. You're not cleaning it. You're not getting more power from it. You are not going to do any preventative maintenance on it by using a higher octane fuel. In a higher octane fuel, if you are using the correct octane, your piston will fire exactly at the right timing. If you use a higher octane fuel, it will fire at exactly that same timing. That is the only thing that will be different is paying more for the same result. It is not any kind of maintenance thing to use a higher octane gasoline. Another common question is, I made performance modifications on my car, so now should I move up to a higher performance gasoline? If you've answered, it depends, then you are correct. If your performance mod did something to increase your compression ratio, then yes, you will probably need to move up to a higher gasoline. And there's a couple ways of doing that, making a stroker engine and all kinds of you know, really cool stuff that, that actually I really like. Um, or a lot of the performance mods are simply timing modifications, um, computer chips, uh, programming, things like that. And what they often do is they advance the ignition timing. So basically, instead of your piston firing at this point, it's going to move it up just a little bit. So you get a little bit, a little bit more compression, which of course is going to slightly increase your compression ratio. And that is going to give you a little more power. If that little bit, it would normally fire here and it now moves up here, if just that little bit more of a timing advance causes you to have a compression ratio that now requires a higher octane, then so be it. And a lot of times these things will tell you you need to move up to a higher octane fuel. I think it's just so that you kind of get the impression that it's doing something more. But it is possible that advancing the timing could do that. It's really not that much different than this carbon coated piston, by the way, if you think about it. And another question that you can certainly answer now with your new wealth of knowledge, higher octane gasoline will give you better mileage. Correct. It will not. If you do not need it, that is. It will, it will give you better mileage if, of course, you need the higher octane. If you do not need the higher octane and you add higher octane fuel to your car, it has nothing to do with the mileage. Again, the predetonation problem is what you're looking to avoid. That's the only thing that would affect your mileage. If you do not have predetonation, then the octane increase has no effect whatsoever on your car. It will not improve mileage. It will not improve performance. All right, two more. And these are all you. First one, if you fail an emissions inspection, it would probably help to use premium fuel next time.
And you are correct if you answered most certainly not. Again, only one possible way if the emission failure was because they experienced a lot of detonation and it was causing a lot of misfires and things that would certainly cause you to fail the inspection. But even with premium fuel, um, it, it's still likely you're still not getting complete combustion. Uh, maybe you will. It may help. But if you are failing your emissions inspection for any other reason, bad catalytic converter, um, any other thing causing a check engine light, that kind of thing, it will have absolutely no effect. You will just simply waste your money on the way to the next inspection. And one final one here that I'll bet that everybody gets. Why is premium fuel more expensive? And I think you know the answer to that one, and I'm going to answer that with closing out this video. And that is, most of you guys that are watching this probably at some point have uh, used, at least sometimes, or regularly use premium fuel, and have now discovered you don't need it. However, the next time you go to the gas pump, you're going to reach for that low octane and just kind of get a funny feeling. And you're going to think, Oh, what's just a few more cents and you go for the mid-grade or whatever. And, um, well, that, that's why it's more expensive. All right. So, as always, um, thank you very much for watching. And I hope that this has been uh, both entertaining and informative for you. And remember to take this knowledge and use it only for good, never for evil.